Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. We're going dress shopping for my sister. This is the first place we're going. We have another place that I think she really wants to go next week. So we're doing like a warm up and I'm really excited. It's gonna be so fun. And it just, I feel like it's gonna make me cry seeing her in a wedding dress. It's so crazy. But here's what I'm wearing. This is like a bowed t-shirt. It has these cutie little ballerinas on it. A Nina Bing blazer. And then I'm doing stirrup leggings, which is wild. I love the stirrup leggings. And then my New York purchase that I'm in love with. I just, this has been a dream bag of mine for so long. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> You know, there's just something about being home and being busy on a Saturday that makes me so freaking excited. So I'm doing nothing but really boring errands today and I'm excited about it, honestly. I need like a good place to put you guys. So first we're running to William Sonoma. I'm going to a couple showers tonight with Ronnie and we have to go pick up a gift. And then I'm gonna go get some things altered. First, I have a pair of pants that I bought in Mexico City that are incredible. And I honestly think I might wear them to the Houston Rodeo. And then I have this cool dress that like if I don't get hemmed soon, I'm not gonna be able to wear it because it's long sleeve and long, but it is so flattering. I just need the length to be up a little bit. And then we're gonna do curtains. And this has been on my to-do list for years. I bought curtains that were too long I really wanted the look of custom curtains or custom drapes or something like that for all of our rooms and the price is just crazy so I bought a ton of curtains like all my curtains are basically anthropology or Amazon and I bought them too long and then I just measured them and we took them down we're gonna take them in and get them hemmed so that they look custom like custom length for our little spaces so I'm really excited about that that's gonna be exciting and then I'm dropping off a ton of packages at the post office we are having a very busy Saturday and then I'm coming home we're going on a walk and then getting ready for the couple shower so let's go by the way these bags you buy on Amazon are literally the best they fit so much I use them for packages dry cleaning and now for curtains to take to get hemmed Okay, so for the eight curtain panels and the pants and the dress, it was $450 and now I'm like stressing that I probably could have just saved money by doing custom curtains. But then I'm thinking, okay, so let's say 400 of that were the curtain panels divided by eight, $50 a curtain panel. I probably paid $30 a curtain panel, $80 a curtain panel, not bad. I think it's okay. I think I'm gonna live. I think I'm just stressing myself out because that was a lot of money all at once, but I still think I'm saving money by doing it my way and not doing custom curtains. We're going to a couple shower. I just wanna show my outfit, because I like it. I got it, hold on. The bag is a critical piece. I got it on Rent the Runway. The brand is like the, I'm gonna so, so say it wrong, but it's like Phoebe Magugu is how it looks like on Rent the Runway. But the quality is incredible. This is the second or third time I've rented from this brand, and I love it every single time. I did this little yellow bag and then these heels and then for my jewelry I'm doing a Dorsey necklace and then these little soju earrings I love this brand they sent me some stuff in PR and I think I'm gonna buy some stuff for myself I have a code I'll link it below but like look how cute those little heart earrings are and they're so light like not heavy at all okay we're going I'm not gonna film I'm just gonna be present but I love you guys I'm excited happy Saturday salmon I have not cooked salmon I think since college maybe ever but I'm trying to get more iron in my diet trying to expand the different meats that we eat because we basically only eat chicken and turkey at home so I really want to add some more things into our diet so we're doing salmon asparagus because that's just what I have and then rice because I meant to cook a baked potato but 
it's gonna take like an hour to do that and we don't have the time for that so my sister's fiance is a really really good cook like his recipes are amazing so i texted him and made him send me a recipe for the salmon so we're gonna add mayo apparently that helps make it crispy and then sriracha brown sugar and garlic powder and then he suggested I put it in the oven at 300, 325. He said he usually eyeballs it. That's when you know you're a good cook, when you're just like, meh, I'll just watch it. I'm trying the air fryer because I've seen that all over TikTok and I feel like that would be fun. We never use the air fryer. And then for this, what we're gonna do, Ronnie, my little sous chef, this in a bag. And basically what I do is just balsamic glaze, olive oil and then like garlic powder and salt and pepper and it's usually pretty good. So that's kind of my go-to with the asparagus. I'm laughing. I already bought the marinated. I got the Central Market Orange Honey Habanero Marinated Salmon Filet. I got two. So at least we don't have to do all of this stuff. I might add some garlic powder on the top and maybe a little bit more sriracha. Like, should I add more to it? I don't know. I'm acting like I'm kind of dumb at cooking. I'm not that dumb. Salmon is where I get dumb. I didn't grow up eating fish. My mom didn't like fish, so it's kind of a new thing. Also, I'm sorry if that's really loud. The air fryer is very loud. I need to peel the skin off, I believe. I added some mayo, some garlic powder, and then some sriracha just so it doesn't taste like that fishy. And then Ronnie is doing the asparagus, looking good. So we'll put this in for like 30-ish minutes and then I think we would just put this in for 10. Don't mind the skinny asparagus. I like my asparagus skinny, I can't explain it. I just think it tastes better, a little charred and, and skinny. Doing some white rice and I think the salmon turned out pretty good. It smells kind of fishy, which is, I'm just not used to in my own kitchen, but I think it, I think it is gonna fly. Good morning. Ronnie has not been feeling good the past couple days. I got these in PR and he's been taking them and I think they've really been helping. Um, this vitamin C has been good. Always good to take vitamin C when you're not feeling good. Honestly, all the time. And then these little lozenges. They've helped your sore throat, right? Yes, they're, they're honestly great. Yay. I just finished a really good social media panel. I'm so excited about it. I was on with three other women talking about all different roles in social media. Those are like my favorite parts of this job is like public speaking or helping others or you know, giving some advice or I don't know, just answering questions on how people can get to you know the careers they wanna get to, I love that. I owe you guys an update on the blueberries. <laughs> And I feel bad because I've already eaten a lot of them because they're so good. But I like never looked good enough on camera. I was always in my PJs or something. So today I'm feeling good and I'm wanting a little snicky. If you missed it, my last video, I did like a frozen blueberry recipe that's supposed to taste like sour Skittles. Now my one complaint, and it, I think it's my fault, I didn't put enough, I think of like lime juice and the monk fruit. Mm, like that was sour. I feel like they're getting sour as they stay in the container. Here's what they look like. All the monk fruit kind of fell to the bottom. Like that one was really sour. And blueberries are natural anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. So they're really good for you. So this is a good healthy snack. I have not gotten into the grapes yet. I've been eating this. My friend Ashley just texted me and she said she's out and about running errands and is bored. So She's gonna come over here. I have some packages to drop off, so I think I'm gonna do that. Some PR to unbox, perhaps. And then later tonight, I'm on a meeting. This is gonna age me. My 10 year high school reunion committee. So we have a meeting at seven on Zoom for that. By the way, I went to an all girls high school called Ursuline, and it was amazing, I loved it. But yeah, okay. Happy Saturday. We are doing more wedding dress shopping today. I'm so excited. We're going to Waters. My big and my sorority, her mom started Waters. 
and now she's like a creative director at Waters, like designing dresses and stuff. She's literally so cool. They're the coolest mom-daughter duo. It's freezing in Dallas, like so cold. So I'm kind of going a little comfy, but this is what I'm wearing. This sweater is American Vintage, um, total classic. They have the best sweaters. You can hear Ronnie playing golf. Barrel jeans. These are like a fun daytime jean for me. I just think they look cute. And then I'm doing these little Prada loafers. This is the look. Hopefully she finds her dress today. I'm so excited. It's Saturday night. I'm going to dinner with the girls and I've been wanting to dress up. I've just really been wanting to dress up. Let me show you what I'm wearing. So this top is a little scandy, but I'm doing a blazer over. And then black jeans. I'm not a fan of the black jeans. I feel like you're having a hard time seeing this one. But really quick, my Vivrell rental, my first Chanel, and she's beautiful. Wallet on the chain, silver. I've been wearing a lot of silver. Um, but this PH5 top, a little crazy, but it's fun. Dorsey necklace, and then I think this is a dish blazer black girlfriend jeans, and then silver Kate heels. Kind of a funky outfit, I'm not gonna lie. A little bit edgy for me. Something I normally wouldn't wear, but I'm, I'm obsessed with. So I'm going to dinner with some girlfriends. It's gonna be fun. And then probably just come home. I don't think it's gonna be a late night, but see what happens. <laughs> 